Hello. And this is part two of following Great Lakes Central GP38-2s number 395 and 396. They've just dropped off the Railbox High Cube Boxcar at the Amerhart Lumber Company near Williamsburg and they're about to depart there with four empty center beams bound back to Cadillac. Basically what's going on here is that the crew would have to be out of the cab of GLC 396 and be into the cab of GLC number 395 to be able to depart from Amerhart. Earlier this month, these empty center beams were loaded with lumber and were brought up here by Great Lake Central 398, another GP38-2. About a mile or so from Amerhart in Williamsburg, we see the train at the crossing of Four Mile Road approaching Traverse City. While I filmed this shot, I had my iPod Touch leaned against the railroad tie to show what this train looked like from underneath. And here is what it looked like from my iPod Touch's point of view. Entering into Traverse City, we see 395 and 396 crossing Hannah Avenue and then South Garfield Avenue.
Shortly after arriving in Traverse City, GLC 395 and 396 uncoupled from the center beams, ran around the center beams on to the passing siding, and coupled on to the other end as you'll see here. After backing all the way up to the correct switch, GLC 395 and 396 with 396 leading, departed Traverse City bound back to Cadillac. After finishing up with filming this shot, I set myself up for a pacing sequence with this train along Woodmere Avenue. My iPod Touch had died just as I was finishing this pace shot, but when I got to the crossing on River Road, I set myself up for a pacing sequence with this train along River Road, and there will be a separate video of that pace sequence after this, and as always, it was a pleasure following this train going both ways through Traverse City and up to Williamsburg. And if you liked this two-part video, feel free to like and comment this on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I'm Toby Passman, and I will see you next time.